Hello A38 family, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today you're here with Andrew, and right now I'm standing right next to the Mount Wood Castle in Wheeling, West Virginia. Uh, today we're going to look at the castle itself and the cemetery that's right across the way. And uh, we're going to see a couple different things, some tombs, and obviously the castle itself. So if you follow me along, I hope you enjoy. The first place we're going to look at is the Mount Wood Cemetery, as you can see by that plaque right there. Uh, it appears we have a few uh, military vets that are buried here as well. That's a pretty neat structure. Home for aged men. Now I found this headstone particularly interesting for the fact that it ages this place a little bit. As you can see, George Cohen here was born in 1835 and 1864 means he died right in the midst of the Civil War. Uh, Andersonville Prison, if memory serves, is in Georgia. And I'm assuming he was a Union prisoner of war down there. Uh, as uh, Georgia was a Confederate state. And we're in West Virginia, meaning that uh, West Virginia wanted to break off from Virginia because they didn't uh, agree with their political policies. So, yeah, a pretty interesting tombstone to find here in Mount Wood Cemetery. As you can see, the view, which we'll get a better look at it when we get to the castle, on the left side of your screen is West Virginia, and on the right side is Ohio, and right in the middle is the beautiful Ohio River. Now after walking through the cemetery, as you can see that it's all around me, it's way bigger than what meets the eye. So uh, I designate at least an hour if you'd like to uh, so pay some tribute to your, uh, your fellow people. It's, uh, it's quite of a haul, so keep that in mind. Here's a better look. Don't mind the gust. But like I said earlier, the left is West Virginia, the right is Ohio, and right down the middle is the Ohio River. And here is the Mount Wood Castle. I apologize if I catch something in the walls that might be a bit vulgar, but I can't really avoid it. We're going to head down the stairs here. This was recently spray painted. I can smell it through my mask. And there's Hello Kitty that looks a little irritated. We got Pac-Man here. There's a lot of interesting art here to say the least, but this one caught my eye because that is a pretty accurate representation of what a squirrel looks like, or at least I think that's a squirrel. Uh, but don't know why it's there, but I just thought that one was pretty accurate and pretty detailed. For any Simpsons fans out there, Duff Beer. 